Okay, so in this video we're going to be showing you how to prep artwork to get it ready to be printed at Level Press. And so let's say you have a piece of artwork that you've either found online or your designer has given you and it's all flat. It's one layer. Uh, so the first thing that we'll do is select the entire layer. And you go to select all edit, cut, edit, paste. All right, so this is a real quick and dirty way on how to prep artwork. Uh, this is going, if you follow these instructions, it will be good enough for us to use to print your, your work onto shirts. So now we're going to separate this main image from the background. And the way that we're going to do that is select the color. Um, this is a solid color, luckily. So we will select color range. And I will take the eyedropper tool and select that color. And you'll see if you go too far up in the numbers, you're going to select part of her skin tone. And if you go too far down, you're not going to get enough of the background. So you want to find a nice happy spot to separate the background, which is just before it starts to get the skin and just after it starts to get all of the background. So right here, I think this is around a good number to do it is a 100. Select OK. And then I will cut this layer. And now my artwork is ready to print. You can now save this file, file, save as. Oh, actually, let me show you one thing. Now you can actually delete the background layer. We just deleted the background layer, and then we will create a new layer and drag that layer beneath of our artwork layer. And now we have, as you can see, the artwork is separated on a transparent background. And what we will do is go to the paint bucket tool and then select a color. And let's just say we want to see how this image looks on these seafoam green kind of looking background, which would emulate what the color of the shirt is. Select OK. You're on the paint bucket tool and you're going to dump it on the layer, which is not our layer for the artwork, the background layer, the new layer we created. And then highlight the background and now you can see how your artwork would look on this nice light blue color. And we will select our layer with the artwork and then go to the transform tool, which is edit, transform, scale and this will allow us to scale our artwork if we wanted to make it smaller or bigger and so there's still some artifacts around this artwork because I can see the transform tool box is all the way around what was the image so what I will do is I'll hit enter and scale that image down a little bit and then go over to my magic wand and then just randomly click somewhere next to it and you can see there is there are some artifacts so I will select those artifacts by using the magic wand and then I will cut them and now it looks like it's pretty clean and so I will transform let's edit transform scale and that's pretty good so now we scale this image to be as large as, or as small as we would like and it's always good to send us your artwork to the size that you would like it printed so it's always best to send it to us in the final output size Okay, and now we can see that this is about 
6.8 inches tall, 7.5 inches tall. So let's make it about you know, 9 inches tall. That's good. We like artwork that's at least 9 inches tall or 9 inches wide at least. So that way we can scale it up or down if we would like. And so I will turn off this background layer. And then now I will save this file as a PNG. And this was a piece of artwork by Jeff McFetteridge, which is a really cool designer and artist. You guys should check him out if you're interested in someone's work that's really nice. And I will save it to my desktop as a PNG. Place. Okay. And now this artwork is ready. So let's open it up. Open Jeff McFetteridge Art PNG just to give it a check to see if it's okay and it's saved on that transparent background which is what we like at Level Press and now when I receive this piece of artwork I can scale this artwork up or down if I need to depending on the size of the image in your mockup and that is all.